hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning guys i'm so excited for this video as you can see from the title it's a travel vlog so basically guys we're on a five hour train ride to gdansk which is one of the beautiful cities along the seaside of the baltic sea it's neighbored by sopot and gdynia making them the three cities there's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well I settled in pretty well guys I was gonna do a room tour but I was too excited to even think of picking up my phone to film anyway guys I will be showing you guys the market square of Gdansk it's extremely beautiful I hope you guys enjoy it so yeah guys, basically the market square of Gdansk is called Dwogitarg, which basically means the long market in English. And it's actually one of the tourist attractions of this beautiful city. I personally really like it. It gives me 19th century, century vibes. And yeah. So the plan for the evening was literally just walking through the beautiful market. And I'm sure you guys are going to love it too. Every night, love to hear your voice. So, guys, this is Neptune's fountain. I don't want to lie because I don't know much about its history, but I do know that it's a very historic fountain, which is actually um, a focal point for Duo Guitar, which is the long market. It's a landmark and it has been standing since the 17th century and it's surrounded by beautiful cafes and restaurants and other historic buildings as you guys can see At this point the time was like to eight or a few minutes past eight actually and we found a super cute spot to have dinner i mean after all that walking around we were a bit hungry guys this was a super cute restaurant they had live music a live music thing going on this is the menu you guys and just to point something out because this city is right by the seaside most of the restaurants serve fish and i'm not a fan of fish huh? but we figured something out and i really really enjoyed yeah. what i had i think we should like chop it in half in half and maybe like it's very big after dinner you guys we proceeded to just walk around the other side of the market square thing i want to shake my ass on a yacht Shake my shake my ass on a yacht in a song. If I can lay down beside you, I would, I would. When nothing really matters, that's all I wanna do. I hope that you're safe and that I'll see you soon. If I can lay down beside you, I would. Guys, for me, this bridge was one of the coolest things that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Yes. Basically, guys, this is a modern drawbridge and it looks so cool. Basically, the bridge raises up in order to allow the boats to pass and then it goes down to allow the people to cross over to the other side. And there's a timetable that um, tells people when the bridge is gonna go down and when it's gonna go up this was so exciting for me
we crossed over to the other side you guys and it was just another little cute place with a series of historical buildings cafes and restaurants yep guys they have water taxis anyway guys at this point the time was around 9 p.m and i was ready to call it a night breakfast you guys and the weather is not cooperating at all i had planned to spend today at the beach but clearly that's not gonna happen uh the weather is just saying no it doesn't even cooperate with my outfit so i have to change and then see where else we can go and just spend the day and then maybe when it becomes sunny the beach is where I'll be at guys honestly I am a bit disappointed about the weather but it's okay it's fine I'm going to make sure I enjoy my day regardless I'm gonna try find a mirror so I can show you guys the outfit I'm wearing now and I'm just excited to explore the city I've been here before by the way but I didn't get to see much the last time I came here also because of the weather it was a raining but this time, come rain or sunshine, I got an umbrella in my bag. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm deciding to just hold my wig up like this and ah, I give. Anyway, yeah. Bye. Yeah? Guys, the level of disrespect that this weather was doing, Kuri, the, the clouds were just covering and it rained heavily but luckily we were still able to just walk around enjoy the cool breeze and later go to the mall oh look see inside ah Wait, guys if you know me then you know sensei is my go-to store for everything that i need <laughs> So basically guys the way the weather was looking i felt like i hadn't packed any you know like a rainy type weather clothes so i decided to get these comfy sweat pants and a sweatshirt you know just in case you know just to keep me safe in case the weather stayed this bad for the rest of the trip So basically guys, while we were in the mall, we spontaneously decided to take a train to Gdansk Oliva, which is basically um, a little suburb, like a little village type suburb area, which is known for one of the beautiful, having one of the beautiful, beautiful parks in Gdansk. It's like a French Japanese garden type of park. So we decided that we were going to go there and see it. Guys, the coolest part about visiting a city like Gdansk is you can have access to other places within the city and the other cities through these small trains. You stop nice distracting me. Batung. Hey, guys, my travel buddy is actually annoying. Anyway, um, go. Go. I'm working. <laughs> anyway guys we are in Gdansk Oliva now and it looks like a small village like a tiny village I'll show you guys in a minute so we're gonna see one of the parks here and then see what else the day has for us we took a train here and it took less than 10 minutes I would say by I train I have to go there because I can see sheep this is how the little village looks living somewhere here yeah uh -huh. guys the weather is still gloomy but we're not letting that ruin our day <laughs> we're not letting that ruin our day 
but I was just saying guys the minute I see sunshine I'm going back to pick up my bikini because I want to shake my ass on a yacht <laughs> guys one thing I learned about traveling in Gdansk is if you want to see really nice places you've got to walk honey so while we were walking to the park we found this super cute marketplace and guys it just took me back home it really gave me like farmer's market vibes or you know like proper proper marketplace vibes i really liked it here Guys, I cannot get over how beautiful the park was. So peaceful, serene, and the rain just gave it that effect. Anyway, it was around after lunch now, and we was hungry. We decided to go to this restaurant. It gave me, like, American-type vibes. The food was so amazing. So, 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 so good. I was so full. <laughs> So we had lunch and we we decided to come back to the park because the rain stopped now completely. So we can now explore the park without having to rush or to run. Yeah, so we're back at the park. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you, not doing well. Don't know where you are Cause you're not here It's been way too long If I could lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters Hi guys, good morning So guys, it's the next day and the sun So basically, we are definitely going to the beach today I am definitely going to the beach today, guys Honestly, when you visit the Baltic Sea cities, like, you want to go to the beach. But if the weather does what it did yesterday, it's depressing. Anyway, so yeah, we are definitely going to do everything we couldn't do yesterday because of the rain. And going to the beach is what I'm mostly excited about. So, yeah. So guys, we hopped on a train to Gdynia or Wovo. I hope I pronounced it right. It's basically a seaside village with villas around a beach and they also have a pier by the way and a cliff surrounded with forests that i actually
we've decided to camp here for some a couple of minutes or maybe even an hour so basically like I said before we'll be walking to the other town city through the beach so we get to enjoy the view of the beach but we are actually getting to another city guys we actually made it to support and i kept saying i cannot believe i just walked to support guys i think on this trip i did more walking than i ever have but like i said before if you guys watched that if you want to see nice things you've got to walk anyway guys we are now in support and support is the home of the largest wooden pier in the whole of europe so first of all guys we decided to just take a walk in the market square and guys it's just so beautiful there's something about support that just stole my heart i don't know what it is but i hope you guys see it too there's not much to do when all i can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long If I could lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you are safe And that I will see you soon If I could lay down beside you I would, I would Hello. I came to dinner in a swimsuit. <laughs> I came to dinner in a swim swimsuit and I'm shocked that no one is staring at me that much. And I'm so full, the food was really nice. I'd rate it like a 9 out of 10. 9 because the waiting time is a lot. But overall it's worth it. Are you rating food or waiting time? The whole experience. She's up all night to get sun, she's up all night to get sun, she's up all night to get fun, up all night to get lucky, up all night to get sun, up all night to get sun, up all night to get fun, I'm up all night to get lucky, I'm up all night to get lucky, I'm up all night to get lucky, I'm up all night to get lucky. Guys, yeah, so we're going to this bridge. Still in support. You have your ID? I have my ID. Shit, it's in my. Just how the ticket looks. Guys, <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna chill here because I'm still so full and I can't walk much. And the lighting is perfect in case my travel buddy agrees to take pictures of me i did but it was there guys so i did a quick outfit change if you watched the beginning of this video then you've seen this outfit and i had to change my outfit outside <laughs> but it worked out and totally loving the view from up here guys i know i already mentioned this but just for fact sake this is the largest wooden pier in the whole of europe not only in poland i'm so glad that i got to see it and the view was just amazing i kept on zooming there because guys i still couldn't believe that i walked all the way to support walk let me see walk 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 Okay, okay, influencer. Thank you for watching this video, guys. It was getting a bit late, you guys, and we decided to call it a night. We headed back to Gdansk via train. And if you thought this vlog was over, you gotta hang on just a little bit longer. Guys, today is the last day of being in this beautiful city and 
I am um, we just checked out and I'm very very sunburnt but we move that's that's what summer is for anyway I'm getting one last chance to go to yet another beach because we only leave at 4 p.m. and the time is now 11 so we're gonna leave the luggage at the place that keeps the luggage and then we're gonna go to the beach again it is extremely hot another cool thing is while we are looking for a place to leave our luggage we get to see more and more parts of the market Great. I've become an expert at changing into my swimsuit, changing outside basically. Yesterday I changed my clothes outside, today I did it again. I changed into my swimsuit. Oh, still chilling here guys and I guess I'm, I just want to do a little recap on the trip. This was a much needed trip you guys. This past couple, this past semester, this past couple of months have been the most hectic in my entire i think in my entire adult life but i needed this breather and i just needed to come here and just recollect myself and then go back into the city okay you won the bet yep bucks give you 20 pull ah, ah. <laughs> Should I go back? Nah, it's really cold. Guys, indeed, time flies when you're having a lot of fun. It was already time for us to leave the beach and we headed to the city center where we could get lunch before we headed to Vratsov guys so we're having our last lunch in Gdansk at this place called original burger and the menu seems really cool let me show you guys so good you can't even taste much of the watermelon. There's more lime. I can taste it. Yeah? Yeah. Looks ambitious. Stacja Ravicz. Station Ravicz. That brings us to the end of this video thank you so much for watching till the end you are such a real one do give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment and share with your friends and your friends 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 see you in the next video